guys and welcome back to the channel. In this video we're going to take a quick look at an issue you can sometimes get with pivot tables in Excel and how you can fix it. So in this example we have a table that has a number of clients operating in a number of different countries and then we have dates for various transactions and the amount and we've created a pivot table out of this. So what we want to do with this is we want to say look at the amount per country and per client and maybe we want to break this down by date but actually I don't want the individual dates I want to group these by month so if I right click and click group usually you'd be able to group by month but in this instance I'm getting this error cannot group that selection and the reason this happens is that there will be values in this date field that aren't actually dates and that's preventing it from grouping this can also happen with numbers there's a very quick fix for this so if we just click OK and go back to our data set we know the issue is with our date column so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the shortcut Control and G and this is the go to shortcut and we're going to click on special and what we want to do is we want to click on constants here I'm going to uncheck numbers what we're specifically looking for in this range is whether there's any text or errors or things like that so we're just going to click OK what it's done is it's highlighted certain cells. So you can see this one at the bottom here. It's got a 007 instead of just 7. So we'll have selected multiple options. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to highlight those cells in this yellow color. And then I'm going to come to my table filter and I'm going to filter by color and just filter those yellow cells that I've just colored. And you can see these are all dates that have been typed in incorrectly. And what you can do then is you can go through these and you can correct them to whatever they are meant to be. So in this instance, this is meant to be the 12th, uh, this is meant to be 2023, and for example, this one is meant to be the 10th. And you can then unfilter that or clear the filter. If you want to take off that colouring, you can also do that. Put it back to no fill. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come back to my pivot table, I'm going to do it to data, and I'm going to refresh all. And then what should happen is I should be able to group these. So if I right click and say group, as I've just done, you can see it here and say I want to group by month, we're going to click month. You can also do it by month and by quarter. So I'm going to just do that as an example, click OK. And you can see I've got different quarters of the years and then group by month. If you want to do it again and just have it by the months by themselves, you can take that off. So there we go. We've got our clients group by month. Now we're no longer experiencing the issue mentioned already this issue can also happen with numbers if it happens with dates it can also prevent you from doing things like putting in a timeline into your pivot table i hope you found this quick error fixing video helpful do remember to give our video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and i look forward to seeing you next time